This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! card review slash discussion type video. In the previous video that I did, I talked about the new Sub-Terror Link monster, and I initially filmed another video talking about the Spiral Link monster, but unfortunately, footage got corrupted, things couldn't be used, and so basically have to refilm it, have to do it again. So there is that to look forward to, but that's good because there's actually a couple more points that I forgot to mention in the previous iteration of the recording that I wanted to do this time around, so it works out better for us all. But anyway, what we're going to be talking about today is the new Spiral Link monster that is getting imported to us in Circuit Break. It's confirmed to come to us in Circuit Break, so i.e. late October, early November time frame, and it is part of the Extra Pack 2017 support that the OCG got. Basically, like when the OCG imported Burning Abyss back in 2016, they printed, uh, not 2016, like 2015 actually, they imported it rather early. They gave it Beatrice, the Eternal Lady, or Lady of the Eternal, whatever its name ended up being, and then that card got imported back to us. So they gave the TCG exclusive archetype an OCG exclusive that then needed to be imported for the TCG exclusive archetype. It's this weird rigmarole. But so Spirals have a Link monster that has been introduced in the OCG and is coming to us in Circuit Break to the TCG to help support the deck and do things like that. Now this Spiral card has one of the most dope names I think I've heard on a Yu-Gi-Oh card in a long time and it is Spiral the Double Helix. That actually just sounds cool for reasons I can't describe, I don't understand why, but anyway, it is a Link to Earth Warrior effect monster and its Link markers point left and down, which is a very odd combination, but at the same time, it means that instead of like normally, where like on the sub one they point it down diagonally, you're able to put one of these down below it and then put them to the left. Things like that. Uh, things like that are capable of being done. So it, it gets you a little bit more extra planning that you can do with your uh, with your extra deck unlocked zones that Link Monsters give you. But it has 1900 attack and its materials are two spiral monsters. Its effect is this card's name becomes Spiral Super Agent while it is on the field or in the graveyard, which is fantastic. We have an extra deck summonable monster that fulfills the role of Super Agent, meaning that's just more copies of Super Agent and abusable effects around Super Agent that can be utilized because of the fact that we now have this card, we have Super Agent itself, and we have Spiral Tough also counting as Super Agent. So we have tons of ways to abuse all the effects that integrate specifically with Spiral Super Agent and use them effectively. You can declare one card type, Monster Spell or Trap, reveal the top card of your opponent's deck in typical Spiral fashion, and if it is the declared type, take one Spiral Monster from your deck or graveyard and either add it to your hand or special summon it to your zone this card points to. You can only use this effect to spiral the double helix once per turn. Now this is absolutely fucking great. This effect is so mind-bogglingly better for a deck like Spirals, considering the fact that the sub Link monster and the Spiral Link monster were literally developed and spoiled to us at the same time and they are being released at the same time in the OCG, it's really interesting that both of them have such a difference of scope in terms of how effective they are at boosting the performance of their respective deck. Now, arguably, Spirals is a lot more of a cohesive engine in terms of how it's built around itself anyway versus sub -terrors. There's a lot more generic good cards in Spirals with, you know, Quick Fix being a Stratos that can also reborn itself, Big Red being a generic monster reborn for the deck, and then all the other just random little splashable things that the deck has, like Spiral Resort being a once-per-turn Rota while also providing targeting protection. There's all these different things that make the Spiral deck way more well-rounded as an archetype than the sub one, but even the Link monster is just better. The Link monster itself just directly supports the best parts about the Spiral deck, and addresses some problems that the deck had prior to this card's existence, mainly in the form of some of the best cards in the deck that give you the most reach and the most value were really hard to access, like specifically Spiral Master Plan. Being able to summon Spiral Master Plan from your deck or graveyard to this card's link arrow pointed zone because you called a card correctly is actually just fucking great. 
That card allows you so many different things in terms of just giving you extra cards. And the fact that this card lets you search things from deck and add it to hand or summon them from deck, and then you can pick back cards from your graveyard as well means that you can just start recycling things. You don't have to run duplicates of a lot of the spiral cards because of the fact that this card, if you call it correctly, which you should be doing because you're at least going to be looking at one and burning an effect off of it, whether it's off Spiral Tough, whether you're just looking at the top card of the deck with Drone, whether you're looking at the top card of the deck with Super Agent to try and summon it, there's these different things that are going to allow you to basically guarantee this effect always goes off. And you're going to be able to recur resources from Graveyard that you've already used and either place them back on the board or put them in your hand. If it's something like Spiral Last Resort, you can put it in your hand, equip it to something. There's all these different cool niche things that you can do with this card because of how well its effect is structured to just suture itself into the archetype very, very effectively. Now, I've been testing this card a little bit, and it's very easy for you to go just massively amounts of plus on your turns because of this card's existence and what it allows you to do with cards like Tough, Super Agent, Master Plan, things like that. You're just able to get so many cards into circulation. It really starts reminding me of how like the post-adjusted list 2016 Draco Pal deck played, where you just started putting all of your resources into this wonderfully melded board, and then at the end of your turn you ended with like 12 or 13 cards, and your board was established the way you wanted it, and you were like, come at me bro, to your opponent essentially, because that's what you can do with this deck very easily. You can summon Spiral Sleeper from your from your hand. You could search it, summon it, equip a last resort to it, pass turn to your opponent with like a resort up, and you're like, you gotta out this card, mate. <laughs> There's so many different things you get to do with this card specifically, as well as the fact that because of Quick Fix's existence, this deck is naturally very well supported in the link summoning like area. Because Quick Fix by itself is one part of this monster's material, can search Big Red, can search Drone, there's so many different other things that Quick Fix allows you to do because of Machine Dupe being a viable like solution to summon multiples from your deck, there's so many cool things that Quick Fix allows in terms of being such a good starting card, that this card is so easily supported by Quick Fix's ability to recur itself, be used as Link material, all that sort of nonsense just really just starts fleshing this card into such a good card, I have no idea how Konami got this card so right and then tried to make the sub terror card almost the exact same sort of card for a deck but it fell so flat and I guess that's just a huge testament to how just bad the sub terror theme is in terms of how well it tries to work upon itself because the sub terror support really I mean the artwork is great I really like sub terrors in terms of their design but in terms of a deck they don't function very well they just basically fold in on themselves and collapse like a wet paper house like, it's just, it's not something that works very well. And then the Link Monster doesn't really help that. But then on the opposite side of the spectrum, you have a card like this. And this card literally lets you access all of the best parts of the Spiral deck, but then also allows you to utilize some of the amazing cards that Spirals had access to that were really hard to utilize before, like Master Plan. I mean, Master Plan legit just gets you multiple searches, and that's amazing. That gives you so much fuel for your turn structure. Now, unfortunately, the Spiral deck is a little bit weak to back row because of, si of Spiral Super Agents, like limitations on how many times you can pop back row and things like that. But I mean, the deck has something there that could be utilized and built upon and is definitely something that could easily be a contender in the early stages of Link format come November when we get these cards in Circuit Break. And hopefully that is the case because I really like it when we as a TCG metagame deviate from the OCG because of our exclusives. If we're able to have, t like I really enjoyed the fact that we had Burning Abyss, that we had Cosmo, because those were different decks that meant we weren't just following the schematic laid out by the OCG three to four months ahead of time. Those were decks that we had. Those were ours and we got to play them. Now, it's not too much like that now because the cards got imported to the OCG and that's why we get this Link monster, but it's still something that is just out of nowhere. We don't know the capabilities of this deck until we get the card in Circuit Break, how it will mesh into the format, 
because spirals have so many good quality cards in their uh, accessibility pool so I'm really excited to see this card come out in circuit break I'm really excited to see what potential things spirals could do and I definitely want to know what your guys opinions on this card are in the comments down below and if there's anything that you feel like I missed discussing in terms of what this card can do I mean I think you're more than often going to be summoning master plan with this card but you can summon tough and guarantee pop a card you can summon super agent pop a spell and trap there's so many different little niche things that this card allows you to have access to that it has such a huge amount of flexibility for your turn structure and that's fan fan fantastic so i definitely want to know what your guys' opinions are in the comments down below and if you feel like i missed discussing any very very important key points then definitely leave a little comment in the comments down below but anyway as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are again in the comments down below i'm always curious of opinions whether they are outlandish or nah but other than that Links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. Helps the channel grow in terms of the content I'm capable of doing for the channel. Helps me be able to dedicate more time into doing things for the channel. Helps me out a ton. Helps future projects come into fruition. And you'd have my eternal gratitude if that's something you wanted to go check out. Look at the reward tier, see what there's anything that you want to get back from it. And if you want to contribute to that, it would definitely help out a much 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 greater amount than I could ever express with words considering my financial situation as well as a bunch of other things that I'm planning for the future so anyway definitely go check that out if you're interested but other than that as I have already said many times thank you for watching as always thanks for your time as usual guys and take care I will see you in the next video